In this video, I am going to show you how to do the configuration of QNAP TVS H874 NAS storage. Here I have already inserted the hard drive and SSDs. Once after power up the device, then we need to install the QFinder application on Windows. Here I have already installed the QFinder application. Once after run the QFinder application, the device is already connected with the network. So the device IP will be displayed in QFinder application. Once we press the login button on the QFinder application, it will redirect to the QNAP web management portal. Here I am selecting smart installation. In this system, we are using 8 bay of hard drive and 2 SSD caching storage. Accept the license terms, then press the next button. If you want to update the firmware, you can update from here. Otherwise, we can continue with the same firmware version. Here I have validated. Presently, we are running with the latest version. Then press the next button. Here we can enter the username and password for the QNAP configuration. Don't forget this password and username. We required this username and password for each configuration. Once after entering the details, press the next button. Here we need to configure the time zone which we are using. Here I have already selected the time zone. Then press the next button. In the network settings, by default, the NAS configuration will be in DHCP. For changing the IP address, we need to select static IP address. Then enter the IP address, which one we need to configure it. Here I am configuring the IP details manually for the NAS storage. Then press the next button. Firmware update, I am selecting with the recommended settings and pressing next button. Once after finishing the configuration details, we can review and press the apply button. It will start to apply the settings on the device. It will take the time and reboot the system. Once after, we will get a login window of QNAF storage. For managing the NAS storage, press the go to NAS management. If you are not received the QNAP login window, we can use the same QNAP finder application. Then we can find the login window. Here I am entering the user login detail for NAS management. Here I am leaving the default QNAP configuration tool that will help to set up the QNAP. Here you are able to see 8 hard drive and 2 caching SSD. Here I am configuring each 4 drive has a RAID 5 configuration. So we will get 2 storage pool for the data storing and management. Then SSD we are using for caching purpose. It will enhance the data storing speed and data retrieving speed. For creating the storage pool I am selecting storage and snapshot then select the first four hard drive for first storage pool depend upon number of hard drive you are able to get the multiple raid features here i am using raid 5 for first storage pool and second storage pool so i am selecting the first four hard drive and selecting as a raid 5 then press the next button then press the yes here you need to set up the pool threshold size and pool alert threshold and snapshot area of the pool i am using default one and pressing next button then press the create button once after we need to press ok this will take time here i am doing the fast forwarding many of the area i have already done the fast forwarding for avoiding the video lagging same way we need to do the second storage pool as well now our storage pools are ready now our next option is we need to enable the ssd caching for this purpose we need to select cache acceleration here we need to configure the ssd caching press the plus button for adding the ssd caching press the start button here we need to select ssd caching purpose if you are using ssd caching for read and write you need to select the first one this configuration then press the next button then press the next button here we need to choose the two ssd then press the next button Select the storage pool which one we want to enable the SSD caching. Here I have already selected two storage volumes. Then press the next button. Here we need to select all IO that is a recommended configuration of SSD caching. Then press the next button. Then press the create button. Then confirm the data losing. Then press OK button. It will take time. Here I am already done the fast forwarding. Now the configuration has been finished. In this video, we already created two storage pool and SSD caching. Now we are going to look how to do the shared folder in NAS storage. 
select the storage and snapshot then select the storage pool once after we will get the option for creating the new shared folder then press the start button enter the folder name select the storage pool where we need to create the shared folder space allocation we can use thick allocation and thin here i am using thin because the thin will be dynamic always if you are using the thick option it will be fixed set the storage pool capacity as maximum if you want to modify the capacity we can modify and then press the next button i am using the default settings and pressing the next button again for the configuration of privilege we have not created any user we will create the user and assign the privileges as per the user settings i am pressing the next button then i am finishing the entire configuration i am creating multiple shared folder for the configuration now i am going to create user for accessing the shared folder for this purpose select the control panel users create users here enter the username and password in right side portion we can press the permission of shared folder press the edit button we can select the appropriate shared folder for accessing from network here i am giving all folder as read and write option if you want to give any folder as read only you can press read only button or you can deny the entire access for this case i am giving the permission for all folders for read and write then press the create button now our user is created for accessing the shared data from network we can use the run command then double backslash enter the ip of nas here it will ask the username and password enter the same username and password which we allocated for the shared folder i am entering the username and password now we are able to see the shared folders are accessible thank you for watching this video if you like the video please press the like button share and subscribe